As Israel's bombing of Gaza rages, millions of people around the world are asking what, if anything, they can do to stand up for Palestinian human rights. Boycotts have long been seen as a simple and effective way for people to hold governments, including Israel, to account for their actions. The Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement, BDS for short, calls on people and organizations worldwide to boycott global brands they say are complicit in Israeli apartheid. In this video, we list some of the brands being targeted by BDS campaigns in 2024. And we talk about a recent boycott win, showing that boycotts can have a real impact. The Palestine Solidarity Campaign PSC, is calling for a boycott of Barclays Bank, claiming that Barclays invests over £1 billion in companies supplying Israel with weapons and military technology. Campaigners say that Barclays is bankrolling Israel's genocidal assault on Palestinians through its financial ties with arms companies that sell weapons to Israel. PSC is calling on people to boycott Barclays until the bank ends what they see as its complicity in Israel's attacks on Palestinians. It calls on customers to close their bank accounts and invites people without Barclays accounts to email the company explaining why you've chosen not to bank with them. The Palestinian Human Rights Movement, Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions, BDS, is calling for a boycott of HP branded corporations. HP provides services to the Israeli police and prison services despite full knowledge of the grave human rights violations perpetrated by both. According to the Who Profits website, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, HPE, is contracted to maintain servers for the Israeli police until 2023. Pressure from campaigners has already paid off. Many contracts between HP-branded companies and apartheid Israel have already ended. This includes contracts with the Israeli Navy maintaining the siege of Gaza, the Basel system contract of biometric identification used at Israeli military checkpoints, and most recently the Aviv system contract between HPE and Israel's Population and Immigration Authority. You can find out more about these contracts on the BDS website. There's a link below. If you find this video useful, please share it and subscribe to our channel for updates. In May of 2021, Amazon Web Services signed a $1.22 billion contract to provide cloud technology to the Israeli government and military. By supporting the Israeli state with vital technologies, Amazon is directly implicated in its entire system of oppression, including its unfolding genocide in Gaza. Campaigners say that by expanding public cloud computing capacity and providing their state-of-the-art technology to the Israeli government and military, Amazon is helping to make Israeli apartheid more efficient, more violent and even deadlier for Palestinians. There's now a hashtag no tech for apartheid campaign, a project run by Empower Change, a Muslim grassroots movement, and Jewish Voice for Peace. According to the BDS National Committee, Airbnb, Booking.com, and Expedia all offer rentals in illegal Israeli settlements built on stolen Palestinian land. Airbnb had previously committed to removing rentals from settlements, but due to pressure, it reversed its decision. The BDS campaign group says by continuing to rent property built on stolen Palestinian land, including in occupied East Jerusalem, these companies are profiting from apartheid Israel's war crimes and supporting its relentless ethnic cleansing of indigenous Palestinians. Insurance giant AXA invests in Israeli banks. Campaigners say that this means they are financing war crimes and the theft of Palestinian land and natural resources. When Russia invaded Ukraine, AXA took targeted measures against it. Yet AXA has taken no action against Israel, a 75-year-old regime of settler colonialism and apartheid, despite its ongoing war on Gaza. 
10,000 people and over 230 organizations have signed the pledge to boycott AXA. The BDS National Committee asks that people boycott produce from Israel in their supermarket and demand its removal from shelves. They say that beyond being part of a trade that feels Israel's apartheid economy, Israeli fruits, vegetables and wines, misleadingly labeled as product of Israel, often include products from illegal settlements on stolen Palestinian land. Campaigners say that if Israeli companies don't distinguish between the two, neither should consumers. The BDS National Committee, BNC, calls on supporters of Palestinian rights to join the climate justice movements in holding Siemens accountable for helping to fuel environmental destruction and Israeli apartheid. One of the reasons for the boycott call is that Siemens won a new contract to connect Israel's electricity grid with that of the European Union, the Euro-Asia Interconnector Project. It stated that if this contract is implemented, it would contribute to the maintenance and expansion of Israel's illegal settlements in the occupied Palestinian territory. Campaigners say that since settlements have been condemned as a flagrant violation of international law, the EU and Siemens are violating their respective international humanitarian law and human rights obligations by promoting and financing this project. The BNC therefore calls for a global consumer boycott until Siemens terminates its business involvement with the Euro-Asia Interconnector. The Texaco brand and its petrol stations are owned by Chevron. Chevron is the leading international actor extracting gas claimed by Israel in the eastern Mediterranean since 2020 and it was therefore implicated in Israel's practice of depriving the Palestinian people of their right to sovereignty over their natural resources. Campaigners also say that this makes Chevron complicit in Israel's siege of Gaza. They argue that Israel illegally transfers fossil gas to Egypt through a submarine pipeline, owing Palestinians millions in transit fees. Now we've looked at companies to boycott, you may be wondering if this really has any impact. Well, the recent boycott win with Puma shows that it does. The Boycott Puma campaign was launched by Palestinian athletes in 2018, after 200 Palestinian sports clubs sent a letter to the company urging it to end its sponsorship of the Israel Football Association, IFA. The IFA includes teams based in illegal Israeli settlements on Palestinian territories. On the 12th of December 2023, Puma announced that it would end its sponsorship of the IFA in 2024. While Puma claimed the decision was unrelated to the boycott call, the BDS movement called it a BDS win, saying, This boycott win is a bittersweet victory as Israel's ethnic cleansing of Palestinians continues. But it gives us hope and determination to hold all genocide enablers and apartheid supporters accountable until all Palestinians can live in freedom, justice and equality. A great example of consumer power and what we can achieve. Are you feeling inspired to take action but unsure what companies to use instead of the ones subjected to boycotts? Don't worry, we have loads of useful guides on our website, ethicalconsumer.org, including sustainable travel companies, electronics, and ethical banks. We hope you found this video useful. For more information on the BDS campaign, visit our website. You can find a link below. Are you boycotting any companies over their links to Israeli apartheid? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you're always up to date with the latest news from Ethical Consumer. See you again soon.